Dímelo, dímelo, Bo Dominican York. Happy Monday. Happy Monday the 13th. Uh, got a gorgeous pair of Dunk High Retro University Red and White, or White and University Red, to say it correctly, like it reads on the label. Uh, this is a gorgeous, simple colorway, uh, mimicked just like the low tops, but in high top fashion. Uh, these are very inexpensive, my brothers and sisters. These are very inexpensive right now. I mean, I bought them for retail and I can't remember what foot site I hit them on. Uh, I checked my Nike app. It wasn't there, but, uh, last sale was 127 on StockX. So they're like $30, uh, and then a little more, maybe $50, $60 above with the fees. So if you do your hunting and fishing, you can find it damn near close to retail. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get below retail uh, if you go to sell this or trade. Uh, well, you might get more on trade, but just your standard dunk bottom, your white midsole, your white and university red upper. Again, I do really love uh, the shoelaces on dunks it's not your standard shoelace it is a retro style lace these joints are beautiful i don't know do you think they're too bold is the university red too bold i haven't gotten any uh ua dunk highs yet uh, they usually don't get the toe box right. And that's what really has kept me from ordering dunk highs. I'm tripping again because it looks like one is taller than the other. I'm holding it at my pinky and the right shoe is definitely shorter. So inconsistencies in retail. You know, you guys know those exist. Uh, and then we get picky about UA. I know I get picky about UA because again, it's our money, right? But uh, I'm not always picky about shape. I mean, shape I am picky about. I'm not always picky about the, the flaws because I know retails have flaws. So uh, let's take a closer look. We love that it's got and a reason why we love dunks and correlate them to Jordans. Look at this. The Nike seems to be cocked one way, right? It's like pinched on this side. You can tell that. So again, inconsistencies in retail. Now, yeah, I know I got this off the fucking website, so I know it's good. I 100% know it's good. Now they could be shoddy because of a lot of reasons, right? But is this a cop or not for you guys? Look, Fidelity is not amazing, and we saw that on the uh, Panda Dunk Highs. Made in Vietnam. But we did see that the the quality of the construction was good because there wasn't a lot of glue. Let's see if it's the same for these. Uh, first, I'm going to see if I can grab the, the insole out. It's coming out. Yeah, the last couple videos, I've been able to start getting my insoles out again. Ran into a string of uh, episodes that I could not get the insoles out. This is a really, just like, so this is standard now. Uh, this is my second Dunk, Dunk High Retail, and same uh, feeling of on the footbed. There's your Nike check, men's nine and a half. Glue marks going halfway up, just your regular, uh, slightly thicker. Uh, but standard insole. Let's take a close look at the inside. Is that, you know, that's softer. It might be strobel, but it is softer. Good stitching, inconsistent in the heel. See that? And then good stitching pretty much the way around. But uh, And there's your, your one guide hole. 
Uh, really great shoe all the way around. Uh, I can't wait to rock them. I just like the OG look. Um, this was the kind of stuff I'd get because remember, I bet you I had dunks that I didn't even realize. Uh, I know I've had one or two when I was growing up, but I didn't think about them, right? I didn't even think about them, but I know I bought a lot of uh, shoes that were less expensive and these were less expensive. Um, but again, I bought them for colors to match, to uh, look pretty, you know, to put outfits together. Pretty, um, pause. But uh, you know what I mean, just to look good, man. Things that fit. So a clean shoe doesn't have to be expensive, but as long as it matched your outfit, you were good. Uh, that, that, that's, that's, the, that's how I grew up. I didn't grow up having to have the most expensive shoe, even though I had a lot of people that had the, the expensive shoes. And used to, typically they were the drug dealers or uh, parents that, that spent the money. You know, my parents didn't spend money on sneakers, man. My parents spent the money on, on the family. Um, you know, and I did get some hype shoes. You know, I remember getting Velcro uh, sneakers when Velcro was in in the 80s. I remember getting kangaroos. Uh, so, as a matter of fact, let's do the black light. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Please hit that like button. I want to build the channel up to over 500. I'm at 430. I lost one the other day. I was at 431. Uh, somebody decided that they didn't like the channel. Uh, I see that happen on the reg, and that's okay. Uh, I don't expect everybody to like me. I don't expect everyone to appreciate the content. Uh, I like the glow effect on this. Uh, but pretty clean shoe. I saw some excessive glue right there. Uh, but other than that, super clean on the left shoe. Let's go to the right. Barely any glue. No watermarks like the pandas. A little bit of glue. Pretty clean, man. Vietnam's got it got it tightened up. And, you know, I misspoke yesterday because they've been making shoe, uh, Nikes in Vietnam for a really long time. Uh, I was looking at some earlier shoes of mine, you know, like 08, 06, 07. And there were shoes that were made in Vietnam uh, then. Uh, when I check the labels and I do want to do some videos. Do you guys want to see videos on some of my old kicks? Um, they're not beautiful anymore, but I still have uh, I've held on to some older kicks uh, Some Jordies, so they're not Jordans 1 through 14, uh, but they are Jordan brand and uh, Some Air Forces man. I got some beat-up Air Forces. I found yesterday, but it was those uh, white with brown and a tan midsole uh, Air Force One lows. And those are 08, I think. And those are made in Vietnam. So I was thinking that, you know, maybe I misspoke yesterday. But tell me what you guys think. I love Dunk Highs. And I love the cost of Dunk Highs. They are not as expensive as, as the Dunk Lows. Uh, I got this Nike Dunk High Retro White University Red in my natural size of nine and a half. I wish I would have bought them a half size down, but nine and a half was uh, the right price. And let's see if we've got. Oh, yeah, stamp right there. I was looking for a red stamp because typically I've been seeing red stamps. Um, you know what? I didn't even check the size tag. We're going to do that next. Your normal tissue paper, no green and white sticker. The box was a little loose. The box was not properly glued down. Uh, it does feel legit. Um, and again, I have no, no questions about these uh, not being legit. Let's see if we can get to the size tag and check to see what this production was. So my natural size is nine and a half. Production ran from 621 through 1121. Echoing Vietnam. So I like these. Tell me what you guys think. Sorry, I'm not feeling, it's early in the morning, so I'm not as energized, but uh, I think it's a beautiful shoe. 
uh guys don't sleep on these because in five years these are going to be i mean they're going to re-release -re the pandas obviously they may re-release these there's certain colors they're not going to re-release um at least for a long time so if it's something you want to rock and you don't mind high tops the dunk highs might be the way to go uh to save you some bread you know because you can usually cop them 30 to 60 dollars cheaper than the dunk low counterpart uh but the dunk lows do look great don't get me wrong i understand that they don't make your ankles look fat and they don't cut your height but uh i want to thank you guys for hanging out with me i've got more coming please please let me know what you guys would like to see uh i'd love to try to provide things that uh you know you guys might want to see so that way I'm providing a service as well as sharing my passion. So uh, again, this is your Uncle Bo. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the uh, notifications tab if you want to find out the next time I drop a video, which is going to be about two to three a week. Uh, and then maybe some quick uh, shorts in there. But uh, again, thank you for hanging out with your Uncle Bo. Que Dios te bendiga. Peace.